Rockstar freakouts. Today we're going to be having a look at the biggest meltdowns that musicians have had. And hopefully I don't see myself in this video because I've had some freakouts in my life. I guess I'm probably not a rock star though. <sighs> Only in my mom's heart. But all in all, people freak out. I get it, okay? I freak out sometimes when I just wake up. Today I woke up and the first thing I thought was, ah, ah, ah. I have mental problems. And that's okay, because that's what makes us human, is getting angry, getting upset, losing our temper, it's fine. As long as you don't do what Afro Man does and like see a fan come on stage and then just sock them in the face, that's a little far. I also think there's this clip of Akon taking a fan and throwing them off stage. Um, that was also a little far, I'm gonna be honest, they could have died. Maybe those are the lines, maybe just don't actually assault people. So with all that being said, let's see some musicians freak out. The first band we're having a look at is Nickelback, but I'm gonna be honest, they're much better than Imagine Dragons. Imagine dragging these nuts on your face, on your, Never mind. Let's see how they handled this. Have we got any Nickelback fans in Portugal? Yeah. And the crowd goes mid. Up to you. You guys want to hear some rock and roll or you want to go home? That is that is the funniest part of this whole video. You guys want to hear some rock and roll? I'm not trying to dog on Nickelback. As I said, I enjoy a couple of their songs. And, you know, I don't think they deserve all the hate they get. I know. Controversial. I don't. Did someone just throw a rock at his head? See ya. That is right there. That's the rock. That's The Rock, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but that's a rock. If he took a rock to the head like that, he's a freaking machine. So I'm assuming that that's a water bottle. But if there's one thing I've learned, water bottles hurt really bad to the head from a freaking stage. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's this iconic video of Justin Bieber getting a water bottle thrown at his head and it became like a meme. And that's when I learned water bottles are very dangerous. And it's because of people like that, that a lot of the times we can't even have water bottles at concerts anymore. Fuck you, water bottle, Justin Bieber thrower guy. See ya. And they just go, and the guy flips off on the drums. They're still getting shit thrown at them. That is completely understandable. Like, if you're getting water bottles thrown at you, people are not making you feel appreciated. They're doing shit like that. Leave, okay? You don't want to watch them, just don't watch. Hey, look at me. I'm gonna go to the country and watch someone I don't like and then throw a bottle. It's rude. This is the band Crazy Town, and if you don't know Crazy Town, they have one song that I know. Let's see if this is understandable or a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> um, well. Let me say this. The audio might be annoying, but all seven of those people that are in the crowd do not deserve to have the microphones thrown at them, okay? I don't know what's going on there. But their deadass is like, not very many people here. Hey, but you're doing it. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it. You're doing it. Oh my god. That is, see, that's the stuff I don't like. You don't throw a microphone into the crowd, okay? We all learned that from Ronnie Racky. Not very good. Did not handle well. Probably on drugs. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, okay? No hate, I'm just being honest. He did not seem like he was all there. This is the band Puddle of Mud. I don't know any of their music, but I've heard the name. A fan stole my house. I don't know what the fuck that means. All right, well, let's just watch this. I don't know what this one's about. Right, get his ass on camera. Get his ass on camera. This is the dog right here. This is the motherfucker right here. This guy stole my house. How does that work? I have I have nothing to say about that one. Apparently that guy stole his house. I don't know how the hell that happens. Did he just like walk in and be like, mine? I don't understand. This isn't Minecraft, okay? You can't just kill someone and take their house. So I needed to pull this one up because this is one of my favorite bands that ever gets in fights. And this isn't me trying to be an asshole. Like this is a compliment, okay? Like they do it right. And that would be Blackville Brides. Let's analyze some of these freakouts. No, I want you to play our guitars right now. <laughs> Everybody that you think you're a badass, come up here right now. Say what you must, but that guy could probably kick your ass. I don't know if he would. I've never seen him really kick anyone's ass. I've seen him try. Yeah. The first time I saw him on Warp Tour, I was terrified. Not because I thought he was gonna like kick my ass, but I was just intimidated by him. He's a tall dude. He's like super tall. You have a free chance to play. No, look at me. Dude. Dude, if he said that to me, I would <laughs> my pants. Holy shit. You wanna ruin my show? Come up here and play the guitar better than us, <laughs> He's spitting nothing but facts though. He's like, hey, you're gonna talk shit about how we're not a good band or whatever the fuck, even though you came to our show. 
play our guitars better than us, come on stage. They don't, because they don't know how. They're just shit talkers. Shit talkers. Oh, he threw it to him. Are you gonna be real embarrassed when a mother wearing mascara and knocks your fake ass out right now? That's what I'm saying. He's the best with that shit. We have stopped our whole show so that you can play the guitar right now. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Come play the fing guitar, you fing virtuoso little motherfucker. Show us what you got, you little fing. He's losing it though. He's mad. He was mad. I don't blame him. I'd be fed up. <laughs> he gives him the mic again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Get the f out of our show right now. Someone has to go this motherfucker out of here. Dude, he jumped in the crowd. What the f Yo, was the guy saying he didn't want to do it and then he jumps in the crowd at him? Oh my god. He can't even get to him because he has too many people pulling him back. He's trying to get to whoever the f that was. Holy sh. He's got all these people freaking out that he's in there. Well, that guy's getting kicked out of the show because he doesn't want to play guitar because he can't. That kind of says it all. He tried though. He dead ass was trying. Now this next one, I'm not going to call a freak out or, you know, really like losing their temper too much. This one's pretty damn justified, but this is My Chemical Romance getting bottled in 2006 at Reading and Leeds. As you can see, that is a whole sea of people. And My Chemical Romance back then was, you know, just releasing, you know, Welcome to the Black Parade and everything. They weren't the legacy band that they are nowadays. And some people just didn't mess with emo alternative music back then. Which, as I said before, don't watch that band. Go watch someone else. As you can see, all the bottles are flying. People are already throwing bottles at them. Like, this is insane. I've never seen this many bottles thrown at somebody. Which is crazy because it's My Chem. Everyone loves My Chem now. And Gerard Way comes in with the freaking flag and flips off everyone. He loves it. And that's kind of how you have to handle this stuff is just love it. Almost embrace it. Because now all these mother probably have some respect for this band. And they just go into their song. But those bottles were flying. I think the way they handled that was perfect. They come in flipping them off and then they just go into their song and just perform and try to laugh it off and I think that's the best thing you can honestly do. And now all those people are probably buying My Chemical Romance t-shirts and going to their concerts and actually enjoying them, which is hilarious. So this next clip is from Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses. Here's the deal. One more bottle, we go home. It's that's okay. crazy. Like to stay. You want us to stay? That just takes one asshole. We want to stay. If you can bear with us, we are trying to sort out some technical difficulties. To me, it didn't really seem like they ended the show, though. They said they had technical difficulties. I'm kind of lost on that. But if you're going to leave because one more person throws a bottle, that's going to really suck because all it takes is one asshole that wants attention to throw a bottle and then the show's ruined for all 10,000 people that are in the crowd or so. This next one's one of the most iconic freakouts ever from one of the most iconic punk bands in the world. And that would be a Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day freaking out because they're going to cut his set short. The way he goes into the way he goes into ah f this shit almost sounds like he's still singing the song. Break one minute left, one minute fucking left. You're gonna give me fucking one minute? Let me show you what one fucking minute fucking me. I almost wonder if this was staged. I don't think so, but like it's almost too good. Like this doesn't make them look bad. This is very Green Day of them to do. This is awesome, if anything. God fucking love you all. We'll be back. That's awesome. That's great. Yes, he lost his temper, but honestly, it fits the band. It fits the image. He also goes off on a tangent that wasn't in that video about how like, oh, you're going to give me one minute so Justin Bieber can play or something. And he said he loves you to the fans and then walks off. So, you know. I give him that. I mean, at least he was loving towards the fans. This next one is of Liam Gallagher of Oasis, and he leaves because he has laryngitis, and his voice just cuts out, and then he just walks off stage even though they're already performing. That is the most Liam Gallagher thing that I've ever seen. Oh, I see. 
Oh, he can't do it. Dude, he just walks off. Dude, that is a full ban too. He just leaves everyone. He's just like, nah. It's understandable to not want to play when you're sick. It sucks. But if you're already on stage, you got to kind of just work through it. That's kind of what makes you a musician, especially a live one. But that's Oasis. You know, that's Liam. That's what he does. He gets frustrated and then he walks out. Uh, but God, they make some iconic songs. <laughs> this next video is one of the most iconic ones I've ever seen. And this video is from Mark McGrath of Sugar Ray. Did you? No, I'm choking. He's got to be so out of it. <laughs> hey, Mark, can I get your autograph? No. Oh, man. Yeah, you can, you can. All right, cool. You beat the f out of that guy right there. <laughs> if you beat the f out of this guy. Oh, he's drinking, yeah. I'll choke your f face. You said it. Did I say anything? Well, yes, you did. Hold on, he didn't finish his autograph. I want to f him. You know, I'm Did he just wants to fight someone? Tweeze? Wait, wait, wait. Did he just tell him to tweeze his nipples? What the f kind of insult is that? Mark, that is not helping with the gay rumors, man. <laughs> I'm gonna use that now as an insult. Tweeze your nipples. Apparently the guy said sugar gay, and that's what triggered him to freak out like that. But honestly, with how drunk Mark was in that, I almost wonder if he just misheard him and the guy just said Sugar Ray. The dude wanted to fight. Um, he came back like six times just to be like, hey, tweeze your nipples. Tweeze your nipples. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic moment. This next one is of Gene Simmons, the vocalist of Kiss with the long tongue that apparently has baned way too many women. And apparently there was a heckler and Gene Simmons comes up to the heckler and faces him face to face. Could you do us a favor and put the lights on? I want to see where this jackass is. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? I want to see where that jackass is. What the f dude? He's walking so slow towards him. What is this? What the f Where's the guy? Is that the guy? I don't understand. Is this just a meeting great now? Where's the guy who's going to fight? What the f He didn't even fight him. What is this? I wanted to see blood. That's it? So it looks like he just walked upstairs and said, Ugh. And then the guy left and now he's just high-fiving people. Um, it was funny at first because he was just walking really slow looking like Tommy Wiseau. But it would have been cooler if he like threw hands though. And he like randomly like spun around and then he was in his kiss uniform. And then he was all makeup out and shit and like had blood dripping down his face. And he just went pow, 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 pow. And then the guy was just like, oh, I'm dead. Like hopefully not actually dead. But you know, oh, I'm like kind of dying. And then uh, that taught him a lesson. But... I guess, I guess just walking up to him really slowly and telling him to leave is as cool. This next one is of Marilyn Manson. No surprise there. And Marilyn Manson is upset because someone's throwing, guess what it is? A human body? Fire? Nope. A water bottle. This footage is so 90s. This is kind of an aesthetic though. All you guys keep your hands down for one second. Now whoever's brave enough to raise their hand, who's the tough guy that wants to throw a bottle at me? Come on, who is it? Raise your... And Marilyn Manson used to look so cool, but now he just literally looks like Nicolas Cage with more eyeliner. Like when I saw the movie Renfield with, you know, Nicolas Cage playing a vampire, I could have sworn that that was actually Marilyn Manson. You want to throw a bottle? Come here. Come up here and throw a bottle. I'll give you the bottle. You come throw it right in my face. Come here. Get on the stage. Come on. Wait, did he actually bring him up? This is exciting. This footage is so old. I can't see shit. On three. One, two, three. Wait, did he just throw a bottle at him? That seemed pretty reasonable to me. I think that is exactly what should happen. Anyone that throws a bottle at a musician that is performing, you come on stage and you get a bottle thrown at you directly into the face. 
I think that is fair. But this bottle can also be filled with rocks. Okay, maybe we don't need to actually fill it with rocks. We don't want someone to die. Hmm, actually. No, I'm just kidding. And for my last video I'm going to be reacting to, it is Blackville Brides at the Golden God Awards in 2013. And they won multiple awards at this award show. And a lot of rock fans were very unhappy with it. In the end, by Blackville Brides, let's f***ing hear it! They're mad, bro. Instant middle finger thing. Just like My Chemical Romance was doing with the bottles being thrown at them. Instant middle fingers. Let's f***ing go. He grabs his f***ing dick, bro. All right, so you guys don't f***ing know this, but this is our third award in a Yuru. What the f*** did Ashley just say there, bro? <laughs> he said in a room. <laughs> I can already tell they've had a few drinks. Here's the thing. You motherfuckers should have voted for somebody because Black Veil Brides won three years in a row. A row. That's He's not wrong. I know that you fat mother. <laughs> And you right there, you hate us, but I'm holding a heavy as shit award, so fuck with me right now, motherfuckers. He's not wrong. Here's the thing. Black Here's male thing. brides have a song on the radio. You have a fucking fat ass. Oh my god, I love it. It's so funny. Honestly, I need that tattooed on my back. I don't care what any of you fat bearded motherfuckers say. These bands during this time were so funny. And entertaining. I mean, it's still good, but that time in life was just untouchable. Bring it back. We need more. I think that response was understandable. I think they were probably old fat asses that were being boomers about rock music and they should have voted. But at the end of the day, Blackville Brides, like he said, did win because they didn't vote. So suck on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Let's try to get it to 4,000 likes. You can also check out my merch at johnnygilbert.com. All my social media is linked down below, including my music. And let me know in the comment section if you want me to do any more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Stay having a crappy life. Bitch, don't quit and peace out, thug pugs. Okay, boom. Bye.